That's it. They're racing. Continent missed it on the near side. Dominica, one of the first away, right up there to his firebolt, which is the Hong Kong runner, Olivia Grace, showing pace. And Schwarzier for Australia is up sharing the early lead. Wonder's Dream is alone right over on the far side, and Oasis Dream just uh, slots in behind them from Lady Dominatrix and further back then Dominica, the near side. But in Castle is back in the field from acclamation as they sort themselves out from Sadat. But Schwarzier, the Australian sprinter, going like the wind out in front for Johnny Murphy. Leads by a length and a half here to in second Dominica. Wider out then battling on is Oasis Dream, followed then by Elusive City. A furlong and a half left to go. Schwarzier, though, on the stands rail is two in front. Oasis Dream trying hard to pick him up. They're making no impression at the moment. Followed then by Dominica. Schwarzier, Johnny Murder, three in front. The Aussie's going to do it. Schwarzier coming home to win the King Stand. What a famous victory. Schwarzier wins it. Acclamation second in third. Then Oasis Oasis Dream. Racing in the Golden Jubilee. Airwave lost a length or so on the rider picture in the red cap, but nothing uh, too dramatic. And one of the first away is more luck on the near side from right up there in the white cap. Three points and over on the far side, the Australian sprinter Schwarzier is there. Just in behind them as they settle is Kalud and further back in the field then fire break. They've split into two groups, but not much between them. And it's Schwarzier the far side, three points the near side with more luck and behind them battling on is Kalud. Continents up there as well from Twilight Blues and then Belle de Jour right over on the far side. Zipping in behind horses, Orientor, Airway with the red cap is behind them on the near side, held up for a run now, and now getting the run on the inside as Melhub comes away from the fence. They've got inside the two furlongs now, and Schwarzier has crossed over to take it up for Australia. Schwarzier has gone two or three in front now. Airwave is giving chase, followed further back by Melhub, and then zipping. Schwarzier shortening stride with 100 yards left to go. Airwave coming at him. Schwarzier on the rail. It's Airwave the far side, but the Aussie's going to do it again. Step aside, file up, Schwarzier, he's won it. Second air wave in third is Barron's Pitt. Further back in the field, zipping, and they're followed next by Just James. Last is more luck. Two in a week. A national hero already. They're ready. And they're racing. Away to a pretty fair start as well. Out of the centre, Mossvale began OK. Lazark is up there as well. Godfrey Street over on the far side and going pretty fast early. Uh, to be up there, Tabaret on the near side with Fire Up the Band is going fast as they sort themselves out and Resplendent Glory is not that far away. Splitting into two groups here and Takeover Target joins them on the far side here to go up to with Fire Up the Band and Tabaret. Just behind there in the early stages, Ask Down Express followed further back in the field then by Fire Up the Band and Glamour Puss is just behind them from Ben Bourne. Far side it's Dandy Man clear here of Tax Flea like Kukaraja. Celtic Mill behind them from the Tattling Corridor Creeper on the near side. Takeover Target takes it up now from Lazark. Then Baldy King is battling on. Dandy Man's in front on the far side. There's two fallers here, but it's Takeover Target near side being swamped now. Ben Bourne flashing home. Dandy Man the far side. They hit it. Takeover Target in a photo with Dandy Man the far side. Ben Bourne the near side. Just behind them is Glamour Puss and battling on Falkirk. They're racing. Good even dispatch to on the near side. Dandy Man, one of the first away. Takeover target in the centre, going fast. Morehouse Lad over on the far side in company with Desert Lord. They're blazing a trail over there. Magnus takes a set just in behind them. They're stretched right across the track here. And more of them are grouping up over on the far side. Desert Lord leads on the near side. Morehouse Lad. They're a couple of lengths clear of Magnus, who's right up there with Dazed and Amazed. Just behind them, too, is Takeover target. Dandy Man on the near side coming up there alone or just with one behind him and the rest are grouping up out of the centre. Racing up now with a furlong and a half left to go. Anybody's race here. Magnus has now struck the front for Damien Oliver. Miss Andretti going with him. Miss Andretti and Magnus settle down to fight it out. The two Alzies are now takeover target. Dandy Man is finishing fast as well. Miss Andretti's digging deeper and Miss Andretti, she's a champion. She goes on to win the King Stand. Second on the near side, Dandy Man. Third just behind the Magnus fourth takeover target a 1-3-4 for Australia enticing behind them from beauty is truth and well back in the field Bentley Biscuit never got going at all he's second last and dazed and amazed as last 
and they're off. First race of Royal Ascot 2008, away to a fairly level break uh, towards the rear early. Tariq is dropped out along with Cesare. Honoured guest is the early pace setter. And it looks as though David McCabe is making across towards the stand side here. Stalls out in the centre and he's getting across to the stands rail. Leads to Harada Sun, his stable companion in second in the red cap. Then back to Mount Nelson on the fence from the white face Lingari. Finchgal Bio is further out from Arabian Gleam back on the fence. They're followed then by Dargina and Sajberg together towards the rear Spirito del Vento, Cesare and Tariq is held up in last place. Looks a pretty honest gallop here two length the advantage of honoured guest over Harada Sun in second place. They're followed closely by Lingari, Finch Galbio towards the outside, then in behind them Mount Nelson in the purple jacket against the running rail, inside in the brown cap Dargina, Sajberg is out wider, Arabian Gleam further back from Cesare, then Spirito del Vento and Tariq in the dark green jacket is still the bat marker they're racing for the final two and a half furlongs honored guest is still the hair here the one to catch from lingari in second he's at harada son finch galbio with a chance dargina pulled out in the noseband from sajberg cesare going very well in behind runners as they now group together and head towards the final furlong finch galbio strikes on from dargina sajberg Tariq staging a run on the wide outside harada son is responding to pressure under the rail they race inside the final furlong bunch finish harada son has fought his way back into the lead from Dargina and Finch Galbio as they race up to the line. Dargina and Harada Sun on the nod. Harada Sun may just have got there from Dargina. Cesare flying home in third. And I think we're just about set then and they're racing they came out in a pretty good line ho 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 a little bit slow to get going fast out for south africa mythical flight amour proper is showing speed and down the center is uh, borderless scott equiano in the headgear the white jacket away to the left revo world the leaders are chased by tax free and then dandy man away to the left in the royal blue of godolphin uh, further back on the near side is fleeting spirit racing alongside ho 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 and angle zark towards the rear cannonball is completely out pace the Australian Raider scenic blast on the far side yellow cap white face he's going very well at the moment as they run down inside the final quarter mile Equiano borderless Scott near side fleeting spirit from Amur proper here scenic blast now charging at them and charges into the lead entering the final furlong is scenic blast by two and a half lengths captain Gerard finishing well fleeting spirit on the near side is rallying well but it's going to go to Australia again and scenic blast wins the king stand fleeting spirit it is second, tight third, Angle Zark on the near side, probably third, then Captain Gerard. And they're racing in the Golden Jubilee. Star Spangled Banner broke out well with Saif towards the stand side. Joy and Fun showing speed with Kinsale King. They split into two groups. Prime Defender going quickly over on the far side from Lord Shanakil. On the stand side, Star Spangled Banner from Saif Kinsale King. Triple Aspect Amico Fritz March on door next to the fence. Further back then is Regal Parade with uh, Showcasing and Happy Zero in the stand side group from Favashi and Sir Jerry at the back of the field along with Society Rock and Balthazar's Gift. Meanwhile, over on the far side, Prime Defender leads the way over there from Lord Shanakil with uh, trying to come through after these is Alverta for Australia, then main aim, Varanar in the green jacket, Fleeting Spirit on the far side, chases the leaders, total gallery, high standing, and then Serious Attitude as they race down towards the final furlong and a half in the Golden Jubilee. Star Spangle Banner on the stands rail from Kinsale King, Joy and Fun, Society Rock on the far side fleeting spirit the flying filly coming through from prime defender and varanor and then serious attitude well inside the last star spangled banner on the stand side fleeting spirit far side star spangled banner clear stand side had it society rock and kinsale king fighting it out for second and third then fleeting spirit home first on the far side she ran well from serious attitude and varanor over there as well and they're away, racing, slow to go, blew the start, Society Rock, well out Soul, who goes off quickly. On the stand side, it's uh, Bogart tracked by Black Caviar. Tracking Soul down the centre, Jimmy Styles in the yellow jacket from SK Love. 
towards the stand side, tracking Black Caviar is Restier Dajon, followed by Pastoral Player, Raw Rock out the back with Society Rock, and also Genki and the, and the Checker is towards the rear. Moonlight Cloud is buried in the field about eighth or ninth as they race through the first two furlongs or so. so and Soul has gone off quickly here from Bogart in second inside the three. Black Caviar traveling comfortably on the right in third place. They're followed by Krypton Factor. SK Love on the far side, Restio Dajon. Moonlight Cloud in the white jacket, beginning to try and get on terms with Black Caviar. Luke Nolan shakes up Black Caviar. What can she find? Soul went very fast. Black Caviar takes it up now. Chased by Restia Dajon. Moonlight Cloud is attacking on the stand side. Then Soul, Krypton Factor. Black Caviar's in front. Here comes Moonlight Cloud on the stand side with Restia Dajon. A twin French assault. Black Caviar needs the line. He needs the up on her. And he's just went in. Oh, he did. He blew it. But Black Caviar, she's still unbeaten. I think she's just scraped in. Moonlight Cloud and Rescue Dodge on breathing down her neck. Then Serious Prospect and Soul and Krypton Factor and Royal Rock and SK Love. Back to Society Rock, Genki and Bogart. Anxious moments for Adam Kirby on Harry Angel and he's missed the kick badly. Harry Angel upset in the gate and has surely lost all chance. Out very fast like a bullet from a gun is bound for nowhere. Who's clear on the far side from Red Kirk Warrior. Spirit of Valor burning down the near side of the field. Chased hard by Merchant Navy. And they're followed by Dubai further back and on terms is intelligence cross as well. Right alongside Spirit of Valor leaving bound for nowhere. Rather isolated now out in the centre of the track, chasing the leaders his projection in the white jacket, the tin man, and then on the left in the white cap is Dubai, Harry Angel is trying to make up the ground, there followed by City Light for France and the dance lot, and the grey Labrisa breeze at the tail of the field bound for nowhere, now edging left handed and joins the rest of the field, but he's hanging badly, alongside Spirit of Valor in the white cap, Merchant Navy tries to come on, there followed by projection Dubai, then City Light Red Kirk Warrior can't do it then the tin man and the dance lot, there inside the final furlong, bound for nowhere, is hanging into Merchant Navy, but Merchant Navy beginning to get up, City Light with a late run for France, Merchant Navy on the near side of City Light, they race up towards the line, Merchant Navy, City Light, City Light on the far side, mate, just have got it. City Light, Merchant Navy in a photo. Merchant Navy on the near side, City Light, far side. Then bound for nowhere, projection on the far side, and the Tin Man close up and they all burst out of the stalls. And slow away was Golden Powell. Golden Powell missed the start as Pontos and Winter Power are the first two to show, so it's the check runner. And at the back of the field, I think it's Cardam that might have unseated his rider coming out of the stalls as well. Nature Strip, Atlam Express, Golden Powell trying to recover as they make their way through the first couple of furlongs. Winter Power and Arecibo are over on the far side. Down the centre, Man of Promise leading the Royal Runner, Kings Lynn. Nature Strip right up there with Pontos and also making an international line on the stand side, Golden Pal Aklam Express comes next with Equilateral Twilight Calls is next as they make their way down inside the final couple of furlongs, Nature Strip has gone to the front in the King stand, Golden Pal is done Winter Power Arecibo on the far side Kings Lynn trying to get involved with Twilight Calls and tis marvellous, it's Nature Strip out clear in the King stand by two legs from Aklam Express, Twilight Calls and behind these Equilateral salute a world class sprinter Nature Strip, a ripper in the King stand, beat Twilight Calls Atlam Express and behind those Munista made late ground, Equilateral, St. Lawrence was next. They trail all the way back to Golden Powell, who blew it at the start. What a horse!